Let's get right to it. This one always makes me laugh. You have millions of people studying modeling on mocks, colleges, and everywhere else. And the modeling part of machine learning in the real world is a solved problem. In the real world, we know exactly what model to use for a given problem. College kids always whine, What about the new free lunch theorem? Again, I need to remind them that the real world isn't college, and that's why most of you are unemployed when you graduate. In the real world, I know what the best model is for 99% of all real world problems. And even better, I know where I can get the best performance for that model. In the real world, 80% of all models are classification and regression. I know the best models for this problem are gradient boosters, and I know the best model is AutoML tables on Google's cloud. There is nothing anyone can do to beat the performance of those models. That means if you're studying what models to use in the real world, you're wasting your time. You can't beat gradient boosters, and you can't beat AutoML tables. What about the other 20%, Mike? The other 20% are NLP problems and computer vision problems. Guess what? We know that deep learning models are the best performing models on these problems. And again, you have a hard time beating any of Google's AutoML services for these problems also. If you're studying machine learning and you're focused on modeling, you're wasting your time. Right now, all applied machine learning is data. It's not modeling. If we were to check out this job at Starbucks, why don't you see modeling as a top skill? All you see are data-related skills. Why is that? Because they know the best model for the problems. And they know working with data requires far more skills than modeling does. Let me say it one more time. I know the best model for all real-world problems. Not only do I know the best model, I know what tools I need to attain the best performance. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.